Fire. What's up guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm gonna have a little tournament recap today from the Woodard Warriors Open that I did two weeks ago, I think. But before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed, um, go ahead, click down below, do that, and also like the video if you could. I would appreciate it. Alright, so this is a tournament that I traveled to Kentucky for, and it was actually, I mean, if you didn't see the video, I posted two videos ago. It was my first disc golf tournament in six years, and the last one I played was in 2015. I had a little bit of nerves going into this one. It cost me like 70 bucks to get in, so I wanted to at least win my money back, so I knew I was going to have to get... Uh, top three and there were some pretty pretty good guys there. So yeah, I mean the first round was pretty lackluster to say the least up at the scorecard on the screen started out with five pars a bunch of short missed putts. I missed a putt on one that was like maybe 22 feet. Missed a putt on two. Missed a putt on four. Like it was it was just terrible. Oh, missed a putt on five. That was absolutely horrific. Um, and then actually I was putting with the uh, the maiden the new uh, putter that I got and then I switched that out, went back to the AVR, and then you can see on six I got a birdie. I actually kind of shanked my shot on that. I had like a 35 footer, drained it, um, because I think I switched the AVR, which, I mean, I'm used to. I don't know why I decided to switch putters the week of a tournament. What am I, an idiot? But yeah, went on to pick up a couple, couple more birdies, uh, one stupid bogey in that round. Finished the round at four under, which was right about the worst I figured I could shoot on that course. But when I saw the scores after the first round, I was like, oh shoot, I'm in, or I'm tied for second, two strokes off the lead. And that round came in as like 980 rated, which I was kind of blown away by it. I felt like I played like absolute trash. So during the lunch break, actually, I was sitting there, I was eating with uh, Madison and a couple other guys, and uh, I told one of them, I was like, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna shoot 10 down this next round. And they were like, oh yeah, all right. And I was like, well, I shot 10 down the other day, it felt like nothing, Like I feel like I could just do that again. So we get into the second round. You can see the scorecard here. Started out hot, started out real hot. Three under through three. Um, just absolutely flaying lines, throwing throwing the shots that I had planned and just doing that to perfection. I actually corrected on a couple lines, just seeing the guys who were local play. So I kind of switched my shot a little bit and followed what they were doing. Four was a stupid bogey. I just missed a putt there. It was like a 25 footer in some bushes though. So I, I hit a tree off the drive and then I kind of pushed my upshot a little long. Uh, I wasn't too unhappy about that. But then right back on the birdie train. Yeah, super hot. Six down through nine. And at that point I already pulled away from the field. Like no one was even really close to me. Through, I think it was seven holes, I already knew I had it locked up. Yeah, once I hit that putt on seven, I, um, I think one of the guys told me, he was like, hey, you're like seven or eight strokes ahead of the next guy which was kind of crazy to me. But yeah, back nine. Back nine, I picked up a few more birdies. Um, and then, I forgot to mention this before, but there were actually some huge backups on the course. Like, the first round was actually worse than the second round. We had to wait on hole, yeah, on hole 13, we had to wait for probably 30 minutes. Like, there were four cards ahead of us that still had to throw. So that was obviously not good. <laughs> it, it definitely affected my game. And then, on 15, the par four during the second round, it was the same thing. We had three cards ahead of us, had to wait a long time. And I just, I didn't get off the tee well and ended up bogeying that hole. Uh, went on to bogey the next hole, just another stupid mistake. And then yeah, finished out with two birdies and uh, took the tournament. I shot 14 down overall. The second round rating came in at 1045, which is pretty solid. The highest rated guys in the world are like 1050. So um, a little bit below those guys, but still a really, really, really solid round. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short tournament breakdown. Um, if you guys want to see me do these in the future, subscribe and like the video. Maybe leave a comment, too. That helps me out. Um, I'm also playing another tournament this Saturday. Maybe I'll make a tournament recap for that. I don't think I'll be getting any footage from it, but I'll definitely let you guys know how I do. I know some of you guys don't like the disc golf content, but oh well.